pray. Our Father, we thank you so much for your love. We now want to go into this time of budget teaching and training that we expect the Holy Spirit to help us. Please help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That we are part of love, Father. As we are budgeting here, we will not lose the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, today, we are looking at budgeting 2018. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. The Bible is stating that time is important and precious. 2017 is going, 2018 is coming. Plan ahead. We shall be looking at the, bo at the budgeting as we are planning towards the year ahead. This is a yearly program that the Holy Spirit inspires us in read the word mission for prudence of all, for the prudence of all, so that we can review our life, family, finances, relationship with regard to the global community and why we are keeping the faith we have in Christ intact. So let's go to Luke chapter 14, verse 28 to 30. And 28 says, For which of you intending to build a tower, mm -hmm. sit it not down first, and count at the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. Lest happily after have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Now, I'm not going to even waste my time with this. Look, <laughs> yeah. let me keep it short. <laughs> Plan before you make a move. How can you say you want to build a house without, without you know, having the financial you know, like your money ready, without knowing the cost, without knowing the time you're going to use, without knowing the materials you're going to use. You have to plan before you make a move, period. I'm going to leave it like that. Thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate my friend. He's always communicating well and assisting me to even understand better. You know, sometimes when you come from the youthful side, you understand some things that we don't even know. I appreciate that. <laughs> now, let's go to Mark as in supportive of that. Now we have seen at the physical side, spiritually. Our soul is yeah. important. Mark chapter right. 8, verse 36 to 37. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul, his own soul? Or what shall a man give in the change of his soul? My brother, my sister, my people, people in the global community. Why are we actually pursuing what we end more than things that is eternity? We are doing budgeting today because we want our life to be okay to know how to spend what we want to spend, not to be reckless, to have good credit, and but most importantly, we want to be heavenly worthy. Credit worthy, heavenly worthy. We want the two together, we want total package of the Lord gifts. So we have seen there that what is the profit to gain the world and to lose our soul. And today, as we are preparing, as he has told us the wisdom to build us and That's the right. readiness and preparedness, yeah. and we are seeing that we should be we should take it important as soul too. Right. So all those things are important. But today we are looking at the team mm -hmm. for this year's budgeting as smart plan. What is what is smart? You know it is very popular, smart S M E R T plan. A P L A N. Smart is specific, measurable. Achievable, realistic, and timely 2018. Then we want to look at the plan purposeful, lucrative, accountable, and numbered. You put figure, what is it? You know the income that coming, put how much is it? You know the estimate you want to do for next year, put figure there. Mm -hmm. You know what am I supposed what am I likely to spend with my family mm -hmm. on communication this year? Right. You have a you have a family line on the T Mobile or whatever you use, right. and you put the figure there and you know the BG, put figure there, you know how much gas you are likely to buy. Estimate it and put figure there. That's what we are saying. So right now, as we are looking at it, um we are looking at budgeting. So right. we so budgeting now let me just emphasize on that a little bit budgeting means planning an estimate of income expenditure as it relates to number one spiritual number two physical number three material number four economical and so on over a period of time thank you so much that's the that's the explanation is giving on us yeah. what is budgeting but we saw an emphasis on income 
and expenditure. That's right. As they lead to everything that surrounds us, spiritual, physical, every area. So income, what income? We we'll put a column. What expenditure? Another column. Then what is the difference at the end of the year? We need to know. That's what we are looking at. So what is plan? A scheme or a layout as noun in verb to scheme or to lay out. Then planning is the act of laying out. Is the act of scheming. Right. Then planners, people that do the work. That is the people that set the ball in motion or but but rolling now. And as we look at that. Uh, now, I think you have some explanation in there. We'll right, so let's go to Proverbs 6, chapter 6, verse 6 to 8. So I'm going to read from verse 6. It says, Go to the aunt, thou sluggard. Consider her ways, and be wise, which, having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. Again, I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> How can you want to plant a seed in the winter? Does it make sense? No. So you have to plant in the spring because that is when you know, you're able to plant and you're able to harvest. So don't be sluggard and don't wait until it's too late. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful one. I've told you I'm waiting for my friend. So online with that, as actually you learn from the earth and you are planning in the right time so yeah. that you will be able to harvest at the right time. Yes, right. Now, we look at our Torah 21 verse 5. The thought of diligence tend only to plentiness, those who are diligent. But everyone that is hasty only to one. I can say the diligent plan. The hasty just do whatever they like. They are reckless. Look at it there. So be diligent plan ahead have a good budget estimate of income expenditure and look at your life together so that what the mistake i made last year why did i do that thing to that person it's part of the okay this year and you actually make a solution allow the holy spirit to lead you let's now go to my uh, to proverbs chapter 23 and in verse 3 to 6 through wisdom is an house builded hmm. and by understanding it is established and knowledge shall by, by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with precious and pleasant riches. Mm. And a wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increased strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make the war. And a multitude of counselor there is safety. Of course, all we are doing is like in the war front. Mm. You're budgeting, you're building, right, you're talking, right, right. your relationship, your everything you are doing, yeah. spiritually, physically, financially, economically, even in the listening to news, it's like you want to know what is going on. So what this thing has to do with you need counselors. You need professionals. You need those who are actually in the medical line to help you know. Hey, please, how do you do this? How do that? Those who are actually actually estimating things for you. The, the accountants are there. The people that actually give you their you get an estimate for this period. We don't have time. We'll have actually be able to explain to you the give you a spreadsheet on how you can put slotting figure for your income expenditure and what you expect. And we are giving you a list of how to actually look at your life and be able to make up a new living for the year 2018. That's what we. We'll have been able to, to be able to do and as we look at that we actually move on in the work actually that we are doing and everything will move on, move on well for us as we move ahead so we are going to drive this point point in three perspective but before that time i've told you that we set the ball rolling and the other sort of that we we'll look to look in three perspectives so that we can have got good understanding of this presentation one the planner's decision, decision. Number two, the planner's yes, deta uh, the document. document. Then number three, the planner's Determine. determination. Yeah. Now, the planner's decision. So, now the planner's decision. Listen to this. It includes to be saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Number two, mm, to wonderful. be out of suffering. To work out the plan. To save money. To secure a good credit. Number two, the planner's document. Includes Bible document budget documents prayer document visions goals and target documents number three the plan is determination it includes to be determined to make heaven be determined to be a leader be determined to be an example and be determined to achieve a positive budget 
Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have seen the analysis of the category that is broken into. I will now, right. we will now still, uh, support what my friend have said. The planner's decision. What's your decision? You are planning. You are budgeting. Both of your soul. Hmm. The first thing is to be saved. To be and saved. saved. Hmm. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 2, 3, that how shall we escape if we neglect the so great salvation? That's right. If you are not saved, opportunity for you, then you have to be out of bondage of sovereign of poverty That's to right. be about right. not just being somebody who's going on the street and is complaining and grumbling all the time. Mm -hmm. God wants to give us total victory. That's then right. we need to actually save money. The mm -hmm. essence of our budget is to save money. Mm -hmm. It's not to spend recklessly so that we'll not be fooled that eventually they mock as we saw in the word of God, mm -hmm. then to secure credit, to have good credit, to have good credit worthy. That's why we are planning. Then number two in the three is planners document. And I want to ask you, what's the best document one can have? The Bible. That's right. So, and I want my friend to actually, if you have something to comment on, on that area. <laughs> so, you know, um, it was a situation where a pastor, you know, came to my house, uh, I didn't even know him, you know, we never knew each other. That's true. And you know, and uh, like he came to me and he said that, have you really given your life to Jesus Christ? Note that, he said, have you really given your life to Jesus Christ? And then I'm like, yes, I have. And then he said that, okay. He went on further and explained the true meaning of repentance. The true meaning of having faith in Jesus Christ after you have received him Believing that you have been made new, that the old things is passed away, that you have been made new. And you know, once he started to tell me that, like, I just, I started to become more, like, enlightened about, you know, repentance, about being new in Jesus Christ. When you have given your life to him and having faith in him that you are no longer old but new. And you know, it doesn't mean that you might never ever sin again or, you know, make a mistake. You will, trust me. Nobody's perfect, all right? But the thing is, when you sin, you know, you confess your sins to God. And the Bible says that when you confess your sin, you are, um, um, God, God is able, is, is, is just, you know, he's, he, he's going to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. That is his word. That is his promise. So you have to have faith. Yes. Have faith and believe that. Once you believe that, trust me, when, if you sin, if you commit a mistake, Go to God. Do not hide your sin like Saul did. Yeah. You know, Saul, he never, ever, ever confessed his sins to, uh, to the Lord. That's why he ended up dying. But David, he had a heart of repentance. Yeah. He sinned, but he confessed his sins to God. Though he was punished, trust me, because Jesus loves you so much, he's going to discipline you. Yeah. You know, he confessed his sins to God, and God forgave him. And guess what? He was still blessed. So... Being a true believer of Jesus Christ is repenting from your sin, crucifying his flesh daily, mm. crucifying because this flesh is against God. It wants you to go to hell. So you have to put it to death. I'm not perfect. Every day I'm fighting my sins. So that's it. That is the word of wisdom for you. God bless you. God bless you. But does he give you authority to sin because you say you are? Oh, let me tell you something. <laughs> Just because the Bible says that, um, his grace enables you to say no to sin, doesn't give you the right to sin. You understand? This is how it works. You cannot continue sinning when you are in Christ. God bless you. I think uh, that's a wonderful thing. You that's cannot it. continue in sin that's right. when you are in Christ. Pray you God can. will help us. Amen. Actually, our brother is telling us of grace, grace. and faith. And commitment to living a holy, a life. holy life. We thank so, God for that. So God. as we are looking at it, we see Bible as a document and they explain to us in that area. Then we look at budget document. What are the budget the document you have for your budgeting? They are very essential. Then the prayer document. You need to pray. The document you put from the Bible, That's you right. pray this into your life. And as you have told us, our spiritual life is going on. Then all the things you are putting your estimate, you pray it. And the Lord will answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Then your vision, your goal, target, you, they must be in the document. You must document and put them down. Then the number three we are looking at today is planner's determination. determination. What is the first determination? It's to make, make heaven. heaven. 
Let that be your number one goal Believe to make me. heaven. That is <laughs> There's real. nothing else we can nothing talk else, about. Man, okay, what shall it profit a man? We have seen it. Yeah. You're going to and lose his soul. Right. Your soul is important. Yeah. Then, if you are determined to make heaven, you determine to be a leader. Yeah. You determine to be an example. And you determine to actually bring out best result, positive result That's in right. your budgeting. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Are you saved? If you are not saved, opportunity, just confess your sin. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I'm sorry. Be humble enough. If you are humble and you say, Jesus, I'm sorry, this is what I've been doing. Forgive me, as a brother told you when I met him. And he did. And the Lord will help me. The same thing happened to me in 1987. Oh, opportunity. And the Lord will help us. We have the mind of God. Faith in Christ. We are going to get to the kingdom of God. So let's pray. If you are there, just tell Jesus, I'm very sorry. Here am I. I'm not arrogant. I know what I used to do. I know my like and my life. I know the things I do. Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me. Please let us pray. Father, we thank you so much. As many as are here, forgive that I've confessed. And we, all of us, let's live a holy life. And when you come, take us home. A budget. Next year, we'll come out in excellency. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.